In Magic at 4 Revit, you can specify heating load in each space and install radiators into the spaces based on the design load. Radiators are installed through the installed product workflow, but they are placed automatically according the demanded heating load and the place of windows in the space. After the correct radiator, supply and return systems and connection sizes are chosen, install the space button will activate the automatic radiator installation. In radiator sizing for spaces dialog you can give additional information such as system types and change values for radiators. OK button will activate the installation and finally radiators are installed according to the preview. In Magic at 4 Revit, it is possible to create main riser diagrams automatically based on the switch boards and their power connections under systems. Main riser diagram tool is located in Magic at Schematics and belongs under the license. Tool is relatively simple to use, you just have to select symbols for each switch boards, wire and floor separation lines and give values for the spaces between each switch boards in the view. After the settings are done, the diagram will be created into the drafting view. With this function, you can create electrical connection node objects from electrical connectors found in mechanical objects. The definitions of the connection nodes are done here in our dataset. For example, to which objects this node is assigned and what kind of symbol the node is using. Now, when I click the connections to mechanical function, it will search all the mechanical objects that has electrical connectors and it will show those if the connector type has at least one definition in the dataset. Now when I click one of the nodes and then I click show, MagicCAD will open a temporary 3D view where an arrow is pointing to the location of the node in the model. If I see that I have wrong node type in the list, then I can just click it and then click select from this dialog and then I will get all the possible node definitions from that type that are in the dataset and I can change it in this dialog. For example, I want to use this, I click OK and it's changed. And now when I click apply, these two nodes will be created to the model. Here you can see, for example, the data that this node has received from the mechanical object. Here is all the electrical data and here is for example the object ID.